This is lecture 11 on isomorphisms. It's uh, part of a pure mathematics course on finite group theory at junior and uh, senior level, although now it's more into the senior level. The first author is Barnard, and here's the text for this course, or lecture set as I call them. Uh, it's in the Teach Yourself series, and the title is Mathematical Groups. If you want to know more about the text, how you can get it, its price, how you can get it for free on emule.com, uh, go to this website. So, Prof. Hugo de Garis, that's my name, Prof. for Professor, dot wordpress.com. Okay, so the theme for this lecture, uh, lecture set, is uh, isomorphism. Iso means the same, and morph, morphism, shape, sort of, so in a sense, same shape. Uh, I think from Latin, Latin or Greek, I, I, I know neither language. So, uh, in the technical sense, in uh, pure mathematics, uh, two groups are said to be isomorphic if their group tables are identical. Not similar, identical. Okay? So the definition is fairly simple. So let's, uh, let's have a look at a couple of examples. Uh, start with a really simple one. Uh, these, these two groups, they're groups, and they are, just by inspection, you can just see that uh, they have the same structure. Um, like uh, this, the set for this group is just one and minus one. So uh, uh, the order of the group is just two. And similarly for here, and uh, so you just have two integers in this set, and the binary operator is just multiply. Okay? So, for example, uh, minus one times minus one gives you one, Min minus one times one gives you minus one, and so on. <coughs> now, this, this group, uh, totally different. Uh, I mean, these are numbers, right? And these symbols here, now you've seen this before, uh, this, this x, for example, uh, if, you, if you remember from earlier lectures, the, the equilateral triangle and the, the, the x here is a rotation operation uh, about the vertical just to do that. So you're rotating at 180 degrees about, about this vertical axis. Okay, so that's x. So if you, if you do x twice, if you're rotating 180 and again by 180, you'll end up with uh, where you started, which is i. i is do nothing. You know, rotate by zero degrees, so do nothing. So if you do x twice, xx, you'll get i. Now, now look, if you translate uh, this one into i and the minus one into x, if you do that, uh, you'll get identical groups. Okay? So this, these two groups uh, have identical, yeah, with translation, um, you, know, you, you need a translation, of course, because the, the, symbols, you know, the, the symbols of the elements, or the members of your of your group, of your set, uh, will be different usually. So uh, you have to translate. But after translation, if you get uh, an identical uh, group table for both, then uh, those two groups, by definition, are said to be isomorphic, right? Sort of same shape, or same structure, or same group table. All right, uh, let's do another example. Oh, well, I, I need, yeah, I need to say that um, the, the sets of the two groups be, can be com of completely different natures. Here, integers. Here, rotation operations. Right? There's no connection. And the binary operators may be quite different. This, this is just a, an arithmetic multiply. And this is uh, the operation of uh, followed by. In other words, do one rotation followed by another. Right? So this, the, this binary operation is just followed by. You do one after the other. So, you know, <laughs> totally different, yet uh, their group structure, their, their group tables, are uh, identical. So these two groups, even though their nature is hugely different, um, their group tables are identical and therefore those two groups are isomorphic. Now, from somebody in uh, finite group theory, uh, if that person is told that two groups are isomorphic, with res from, from the point of view of that person, that, that pure mathematician, that group theorist, if you like, those two groups, as groups, 
are the same group. Right? So this, this and this would just be two concrete examples of the same group. Right? Their group properties are the same. But their concrete, uh, what's the word, manifestation, uh, yeah, the, the concrete examples are different. But their group's the same. Okay, let's, uh, let's do another case. Uh, now, this was fairly easy because you could, you know, the, <laughs> the order of the group was only two. Now we have uh, two groups of order four, uh, and it's uh, maybe not quite so easy to, to see visually. And actually, I'm getting ahead of myself a little here. Uh, doing this you know, by visual inspection, seeing if two groups are isomorphic or not, gets tricky. And I'll, I'll get onto this a bit later. But uh, in this case, it's not too bad. So uh, we have two groups of order four, right? four elements in each uh, group. So here, uh, the binary operation is addition, you're just adding, and uh, the uh, four elements of this group are just the integers 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, as you can see. Okay. Now, um, this, this group here, also order 4, uh, the binary operation is uh, multiply. So it, it's sort of conventional often to, to put the binary operator in this sort of upper left-hand corner here. Like um, that's that's quite a like here's a binary operator here in the upper left hand corner and again here and so on. That's quite quite a strong convention. Okay, so uh, why are these two isomorphic? Uh, well, the i here is just the square root of minus one. You know, the, the, so we have here four complex numbers, and you're just multiplying them. And I've written out the table already because it's tedious. Even uh, if you have n uh, members of your set, the size of your table will have n squared entries, right? so it gets a bit tedious. Uh, now, um, if you translate this zero, I've listed, I've listed it here, so if you, if you translate the zero into a one, and the one into i, and the two into minus one, and the three into minus i, so uh, it's, look, it's looking though as though the unit element in this group is the zero, and the unit element in this uh, multiplying type group is one. Right? Now, uh, if you translate all these, uh, trust me, or do it yourself, you know, prove it on, in your own notebook or something. So if you, if you make this translation, this table will become identical to that. Okay? So these... These two groups are isomorphic. Now, uh, here's, here's another case. Uh, I'll, I'll just tell you these two are isomorphic, but showing that that's the case is uh, very tricky. In fact, uh, you may even remember in a couple of lectures back, one of the uh, problems to, to be solved, uh, I got stuck, remember, it wasn't at all obvious how, how to translate and manipulate the rows and columns uh, in such a way that uh, one group became identical with another. It's, it's not at all obvious. Now, I'll give you a case in point uh, here. Now, as I said, these, t these two groups are isomorphic, but rearranging the columns and rows and choosing the correct translations to show that this, uh, after all these manipulations, that this uh, group table does become equal to that, that can get very tricky, uh, difficult, uh, not obvious. Okay? So, for example, uh, and you can prove this yourself as, as homework if you like, uh, show, show these two groups, uh, what are the groups? Uh, well, you've seen this one before, so um, just a set of integers, uh, even integers, 2, 4, 6, 8. The binary operator is you take the product of any two of them and then mod by 10. So divide by 10, get the remainder, you know, the residue, and put it in the table in the correct position. All right? So we've, we've, you've seen this several times before, so there's that table. And this one is just this one again. Right? It's just the same. Uh, and this one goes under the label of Z4. Uh, now, be careful. Um, Barnard, he uses this 
uh, label uh, with two different meanings, two different applications. Uh, one is it's a set of um, residue classes and the other, so a set of infinite sets. But in this case, uh, so his second use is uh, it's a very simple set, it's just the set of four integers, just not one, two, three. And the binary operation is plus and you're modding, modding by four. So for example, uh, three plus three mod four, so that's six mod four, that gives you two. Okay? So, so this is uh, just the simple, that set, and the binary operator is addition mod 4, modulus 4, okay? Alright, so uh, so this set is that set, just a repeat. Now, <laughs> to, sh to, to manipulate this one, to get that, you need to do the following. You take uh, the row that has 2 in it here, so be, take this row and swap it with the row that has 6 here. This, this 6 means this is this 6. So in other words, that row and this row, you swap. Okay? You get the result. And then uh, you look for the 2 in the column, so wherever it is here, let's say here, and you swap it with um, the column that has 6 in it, let's say there. So uh, this and this, these two columns would swap. Right? You get the result. And then you, uh, you swap wherever the 2 is 